Uh, willkommen aus D Dwarf. Dwarf Fortress. Uh, don't know how to say that in German. But hey, I knew the first few words. Anyways, we're continuing with this. We have a nice water falling from the waterfall. Cool. We're getting a little mist in here. I think people are getting a little splishy splashy every once in a while. Maybe not all the time. But they're also getting it from here too, which is nice. Did you see a waterfall? No. Unacceptable. Jeez. Well, we've got a well that works, and it fills up, and we have the ability to pull a lever to dump it, I think. Just in case we need to. You always need that as a potential option. What are we doing in this episode? Well, we're digging deep and greedily. We're trying to get more ore so we can craft more things. Looks like we're good on this side, thankfully. Thankfully. <laughs> Could have been bad. But we need to dig down here. We're going to keep going deeper and deeper until we hit the caverns finally and go from there. I might try to build the dwarf face into the cliff face and make it cry the tears of the waterfall. But we're getting, we're getting somewhere. We're actually like stabilized. So, you know, if we don't introduce some new stuff, it's going to be uh, pretty boring for you guys to watch. We'll have like years span between, you know, episodes <laughs> i'm still trying to get people their studies and stuff we're getting there we'll get it done oh, 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 oh. the cyclops tequila special sporo uzo irol has come a giant humanoid monster with a single eye set in its forehead indeed it is well let us muster the troops there's a giant raven in my stockpile who is terrified and seriously injured. Well, he can get wrecked. You goober. All right, give me all the dwarves stationed here for the big battle. Good job. Dacost is already there. They have a tear there as well. Who is missing a helmet? He's got bilberry wine in his water skin. That's not water. It just has a shield. Okay. <laughs> That's a choice you can make. Oh, the Cyclops is fighting already. A hammer dwarf. Just kidding, dwarves. He's here. Attack the beast. Get on it. This battle is quite intense. Two dwarves fighting it. It has gone down further. Oh, it is bouncing between areas. Is he bleeding out? Oh, he's on the bridge. Get him. Cut him down. We handled that thing very well. We didn't lose any dwarves. I don't know if anybody really got injured either. Very well done, dwarves. You're getting good at this. You're getting good at murder. <laughs> very nice. Well, it would appear we had one injured out of that fight. Have we checked him out, brought him rest in bed? Looks like they're dealing with him. Let's make sure we have a staffed hospital. We don't really, we need a surgeon. Who would like to do surgery on stuff? The Shearer, you've got skill with scissors and stuff. You should be able to do it. This is very intense music for, you know, just going about our daily lives. <laughs> oh, did you like that? Being near a waterfall, yeah, great. This is going to boost our moods significantly in the fort. What the hell is Pudding Stone? Oh, we're hitting this again, okay. Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a little bit of digging down. And so it continues. <laughs> we're digging out bedrooms. This carpenter is drunk off their ass. What are you doing, Labash? That's not Labash. Where are you at? Who knows? Whatever. Not my problem. Keep digging, Dorf. Ooh, Lavender Jade. That'd be nice to make walls out of, wouldn't it? Ooh. Oh, the caravan from Austin Zolzas has arrived. 
We have cut gems, we have slaughtered a bull, we have done things and stuff, we've spun thread. We're hitting dirt, so this is probably as far as I want to go over here. Before we hit more dirt. Because <laughs> we're just going to hit more. I don't want cave-ins happening and stuff. That would not be ideal, so we're going to replace that with a little bit of something else. Let us see what we can trade with the uh, mountain homes, shall we? I'll sell you some stacks of bolts, you bet. If they're worth that much and they're encrusted with lovely bits and bobs, you better bet your dwarf hairy ass I'm going to sell you those things. You know it. I think they wanted food, too, which are going to be in barrels. So I'm going to sell them some food because that's what you do. If you can, you should, unless you really want to restrict yourself. It's worth a lot of money. I think this is going to be more than enough right there. Broker, can you make your way up to the trade depot this time? If not, I'm going to fire you too. Oh, look at this. Our broker is actually doing their damn job. We're going to go ahead and sell all of this junk to them. Enjoy. And I'm going to buy all of your stuff. Because I can afford it probably. Take your robes, your water skins, your toy boats, your mini forges. What kind of animals do you have here? You've got a reindeer, cow, a cat, and a dog. I don't think I really need them. I don't need your copper stuff. I'll take your iron items. Ooh, a steel pick, eh? Very nice. Iron low boots. Some socks. Very nice. I'll take those shields. A steel buckler, you bet. You can keep the copper items. I'll take the iron and stuff. Ooh, that's expensive. Well, they brought a lot of silk with them, it seems. Steel anvil, very nice. Take all that meat. And the fishies. We'll take the plump helmets. And all the leaves and fruit, because those don't cost very much. Ooh, they got underpants. Do I need to make some quivers? I may be missing quivers. That might be an issue. I'll buy all your cheese. Uh, of course. We'll take that parchment scroll. We can make something nice there. A couple of codices. How much for all of that? Too much. Very well. Trade. Stodier seems ecstatic with the trading. Nice. Diplomacy. What do we have? I have come to elevate your land in the eyes of our realm. So much to share. Well, I'd like your silk. And probably, um... Sheets. Thanks. What do you guys want? Shields and bucklers. Okay. We're a town. Full of a bunch of townies. Alright, you can go about your day there, broker Minkot. I've improved appraisal. Very nice. Oh, we've been made a county, and the mayor has been re-elected. I thought we were already a county. Huh. We don't really have any counts, though. <laughs> uh, oh, well. Well, Eton has been re-elected. We already knew that. Never mind. Not exciting work. Oh, the butcher has been taken by a fey mode. Is that you, butcher? Oh, fresh meat. Not that butcher. Not that butcher. I don't think. Where did you go, you rad bastard? What? Where are you? Monom. Where is Where is Monom? I don't know. Whatever. We'll catch him when he goes to his uh, place of work. Oh, we claimed a metalsmith's forge, and he's going to get stuff. Very cool. What are you doing? You. What is the champion doing? Why is he drunk? I mean, he's a dwarf, but, I mean, why? Why are you drunk? Oh, uh, he begins his work. He has what he needs. What will he craft? Who knows? Who knows? Besides Bo Jackson, of course. Oh, 
we have some migrants that are coming in. Let us see them walk past all the clothing and corpses that are littering the entrance, shall we? Here comes a cat. This is not Kattegat. The first migrant arrives. The second one. We're getting quite a few. We're gonna need more housing. Quite a few indeed. Alright, seems to have stabilized. Let's see who we have. Okay, we have a woodcrafter, a cook, a peasant, times three, a glassmaker, an herbalist, a butcher, and a woodcutter. Very well, I shall assign you jobs. Oh, the butcher has created Stinkilud Sholkikanmek. An iron bucket. He claims it as a family heirloom. Okay, Monom, where you live. Well, we'll throw it in the display case. You have discovered a deep pit. Oh. Well, very well, dwarf. Welcome to the shite show. You have opened up quite a bit. This deep pit doesn't say cavern, which is disconcerting. That might mean it keeps going and going. Okay, well, we have found the cavern lair, finally. Where is the deep pit? Is this the deep pit? Does it just keep going? Does this go all the way down? <laughs> uh, the chaos shall ensue. Where's my, where's my diggy dwarf? There you go, you are digging a channel. This seems like a nice pillar to cut through, to get deep all the way down here. I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh, the miner is out here beating the snot out of some dingoes. Well done, using his pick. He is thirsty. He would like a drink. I don't know why you're going down there for a drink when you're not going to the tavern, but, you know, you do you. Oh, the performer has drowned. That hasn't happened in a long time. Or did we just find him and somebody fell off? I don't know. You fell off, Cook. How good of a swimmer are you? You're a novice swimmer. You can get out of this. Probably. I guess we just found their body finally. Okay, well, I'm trying to dig, thank you. I'm a little busy. I'm trying to dig my way down through this stupid, stupid aquifer. Uh, it is never an easy task. see if this works. <laughs> Lots of fighting going on over here. Boom. And why? Looks like we have one. There's a lot of rotten food around these parts. I'm gonna go ahead and chop these trees as well. And so we continue. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, this performer is pretty, pretty beat up. You have a lot of wounds. Let's see, what, what are your kills? You've killed one raven. You've been beat up pretty bad. I may take you out of that militia, but yeah, you can go much your day, buddy. Oh, we have a fight between the carpenter. Oh. And the sword dwarf Toulon. They uh, arrested him. Beat the poop out of them. They're pretty bad. Yet again. We still don't know who has taken this. We are interviewing a lot of dwarves. We're going to interrogate everybody. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Nobody is safe from justice, one might say. All right, 
we'll get that going. I think what I'm going to do, since breaking through this aquifer, would you get out of there already? Okay. I think instead of trying to carve out all this and fight this aquifer forever, what I'm going to do is build my own staircase. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. It will be massive, but it will work. We'll go... I'd say here. I think this would work. Okay. We're sending the militia out to deal with this raven. It killed our guinea cock. We will kill it. Oh, we have a windmill up and running. That means this should get done pretty soon. Fantastic. Fan friggin tastic. Get that millstone up and running. We can start making a lot of cool stuff. I need from honey. We can make wax works. How are you doing there, Maze Dwarf? Your ability to stand has been lost. You probably need to leave the, the militia. All right. Degel. Thank you for your service. You fought well. We will replace you with somebody else. Alright, Butcher. Welcome to the clear post. Thank you for your service, sir. What kills did you have in the military? None. You just got the snot beat out of you. Well, that's okay. We got a drunk champion on duty. That's not good. Oh, Odom got thrown in a cage. Ooh, we have struck hematite. Lovely. Maybe we'll dig that out as a vein, but maybe not. Oh, it appears we have caught a raven in our cage trap here. Nice. Nice. Well, we'll try to train them. We have three caged ones. We're going to train these bad ones. Just like I'm trying to train them in my, my backyard. I have ravens that I've been feeding, and they are uh, very close to being comfortable with me. I'm quite proud of that fact. <laughs> my neighbors probably don't like it, because they go and eat the food on their roofs. Oh well. And so winter begins, and the great thaw starts. I mean the great freezing, <laughs> not the great thaw. What we're going to do is get down here and start digging out the dwarfs. We're going to channel it out, we're going to make this. A top priority. We get all the bodies out of the freezing river. We'll leave that one. We shall exhume all the dead. And I think there's some down here as well. Wish I could just look down and find them. Probably should have marked that off or something. Oh, well, we're going to dig all this out. Good practice for my miners. Don't get frozen in the water there, dwarves. Ideally. Oh my. We have, well, they're snatchers, and we have found Dumat dead. Oh, he wasn't dead there. What happened to him? Oh no. What just happened? Dumat, what did you do? Oh, he's throwing a tantrum. No, that's reason. Reason killed Dumat. Are you kidding me? Uh, interrogate him. We'll get him to confess, even though there's a lot of witnesses. Scholar, you're about to get schooled in, in prison. Oh, we were making cheese. Dang, I can't believe we lost Dumat. He's a good woodcrafter, I believe. Tis a shame. Where are these snatchers at? Let's go find them. Our guards should be able to make short work of them. They shouldn't be able to get into the fort, as far as I know. We will find out, though. Looks like they've already fled. Okay. Can't touch this. We are finally exhuming Kumil's corpse. We will get the rest.
here shortly. Well, we found Irush. Found dead frozen. It's been a long time, our friend. We'll get you buried soon. Oh, we finally have a pedestal, a display case, if you will. Let's start putting some of our lovely little artifacts in here. If I can find them, I can't remember what I've made. I know I have a chain. The dwarves of the standard of peace now know a few facts about raven training. Great. Great. We're going to train some dogs. All right, so we have trained. This one's still semi-wild. Any trainer on him? Any trainer? As soon as they get them up and running, I think what we'll do is... I can make them as pets. Let's make them available as pets. Let's do that. Oh, reason. This scholar is throwing a tantrum yet again. Great. Oh, we've hit native silver down here. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. So the deep pit that we have hit is somewhere down here. And what that's going to do is go all the way down through a few cavern layers, which could be cool to build a fort in. Not going to lie. I think that'd be cool. Dangerous. Like Iceman. Wait a minute. No, Iceman said it. Never mind. I'll shut up. Oh, we have fighting going on. A porcupine has walked his way in to the gates. Well, we were beating the snot out of the thing. Well done, Dobar. Maybe I take you out of the cat, the guard. I think that's an issue, because now you can't do your job. <laughs> that's the dungeon master. Who would like to replace him? Izum, you're, you're wounded. Aerith, you're going to go join the, the main guard. Enjoy your post. Interviewing dwarfs. They're Dobar. Oh, he's named Mountain Rinse. That's kind of cool. You know, the waterfall and all that. Oh, he's I'm throwing a tantrum. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have a lot of haggard, really angry dwarves. That could be the downfall of this place. They have all, they all have nice rooms. There's not that much for them to do. Oh, dog brains too. Lovely. Limestone table improved masterfully. Great. Things are a little, little spicy. We, we may never recover these 36 that are just always angry. But I think we're slowly going up. And making people happy. And so into the midwinter of the year 125, we are making quite a bit of progress. The dining hall for everybody is well engraved. We have our throne room. We have our first artifact on display. So Gengavu's the ring. We have fighting on the surface. We are getting a lot of this done. We're starting to fill in over this so they don't get rained or snowed on, ideally. The gate guard, anyways. We're interrogating everybody we can to try to find what happened to one of our artifacts. Probably long gone. Probably. We've exhumed many, many corpses and items from the river down here. A goal you should always have. And the staircase going down into the deep pit will be started soon. But we'll find out what happens in the next episode. Thanks for joining me, folks. Take it easy and remember, the anvil unites. Bye-bye.